Mr. DeFeo, the principal of Windsor High School, where Saborno was taking high school chemistry classes, and Mr. Villafana, his region's chemistry teacher, gave Saborno a warm welcome at Windsor. You're going to be famous? Saborno received permission from New York State to finish the high school curriculum in two years. One. God. Oh, God. Oh, dear. No, no. Even okay. where it is. What? Watch it. Look at that fifth two. Oh, God. It's producing steam. That's oh. actually hydrogen gas, but we can see it. Yeah, I know. It's a lot more. Hydrogen. It's hydrogen gas. Look at that. What is that? That's so fierce! Maybe you shouldn't be touching it! It's reducing bubbles. It's going outside the test tube. Is this okay? What if it leaks? What if this leaks? That's in the moment of truth. So, oh God! I'm gonna take one of these sticks. I'm gonna dip it into the salt. Then we're going to put it here and see what color it turns. What? Right, now, it's orange. Well, this is just wood burning, so yeah. Well, that's true. So it's burning orange. Oh God! Orange. What is the? And then after we're done, we're gonna put it in here. Oh okay? dear. That's what this is for. There is a representative color for blue green. I'm gonna call it cyan, but I guess you can call it blue green. Well, sorry, it's not on the list. True, same thing though. Oh. Blue green. All right. Now we're up to lithium. Okay. We need a torch Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. Can help you. Okay. 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 That's good. good. Okay. It's red! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I've got red fire over here. Usually mm -hmm. fire is supposed to be orange, but it's, it's great, right? Yeah, it's, it's red and blue. All Whoever right. thought you would see those contrasting colors? Oh god, the wood is burning as well. I'm better with this in. There we go. Yeah. Oh dear god. <laughs> One more stick. Okay. Do you have? Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> I think that's enough. That's a little too much, also. Eh. Okay, yeah. Red! It's really red. It's pungent red. Whoa. Oh, On the camera, cool. it's not as pungent, but in real life, it's like blood red. <laughs> Yeah. Alright. Not burning too much so that it falls apart. Oh no, it didn't even burn. No, that's fine. Just dump it in there. Ten year old Saborno Isaac graduated from Howard T. Herber Middle School. He is expected to graduate from Malvern High School in two years. In 2024, 12 year old Saborno would expect to get accepted to all eight Ivy League schools. I met my favorite fourth grade teacher, Miss Beaumont. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Beaumont. Um, it was a pleasure to teach Saborno this year. We had so much fun in fourth grade. We did a lot of science experiments. We made yogurt parfaits. We had field day. We just had so much fun and it was great to see Saborno grow and thrive throughout the year with his um, classmates. I can't wait to see all the wonderful things you do in the future. And I am so blessed that I had the pleasure of teaching you this year. Thank you. Hello, Professor Barry, how are you? I'm so pleased that you're in the Melbourne School District and you're doing so well. We're looking forward to seeing you in the high school next year where you'll take on some advanced courses and hopefully graduate in another two years. You're brilliant and I hope you keep up all the good work that you're doing. Warner, we're so proud of you. Good luck in the high school next year, right? Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Saborno Barry. <laughs>
Congratulations, Sabono. Great job. Congratulations on your graduation today, Malvern High School principal, Dr. Vincent Romano. We're looking forward to having you at our school. It's going to be a privilege and an honor for you to excel and take advantage of all the opportunities you have to offer. And I know you're going to do just that. Sabordo, congratulations. We are so incredibly proud of you. And we're even more proud to help support you. Years being a counselor, about 20 years, I have never had a student as smart as you. Suborno was a good student in first period. Uh, we always had to stand up ready to answer, and he was just a good classmate. Suborno, he's very smart. He knows a lot, and like, he's very smart, and he knows a lot. Congratulations. Here. What's a good way to hook your reader? Um, first of all, use a bunch of extravagant words. And let me just tell you, Suborno's writing was extravagant, beautiful. Hey, you're stealing my word. Oh, sorry. <laughs> instead of use another one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, instead of extravagant? Yeah. How about impeccable? All right, good enough. Dr. Romano, the principal of Malvern High School, and Ms. Gotsman, the director of school counseling at Malvern High School, gave Saborno a warm welcome this morning. During this visit, Malvern High School students challenged Saborno with spelling and math problems. I, mean, I got this. Spell, let me see, let me see. You spell. can spell automatopia. O N O. Wait. Oh, O N O M A T O P O E I A. Can you define that word, just so I learn I, as we go? It's like uh, when a character says, I think like uh, in the comic books, it's like when crack, snap. Oh, uh, like, like, a, like an emphasis. Spell, okay. ha spell handkerchief. Um, H-A-N-D-K-E-R-C-H-I-E-F. Congratulations on your graduation today, Malvern High School principal, Dr. Vincent Romano. We're looking forward to having you at our school. It's going to be a privilege and an honor for you to excel and take advantage of all the opportunities you have to offer. And I know you're going to do just that. Bordo, congratulations. We are so incredibly proud of you. 87 times 74, you said. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm like, I know. Oh, that's, that's, that's good enough. That's a good, that's good enough. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I would have gotten, like. I would have gotten the, 